Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump are back on the campaign trail after Tuesday's high-stakes debate. Harris will head to the battleground state of North Carolina, making stops in Charlotte and Greensboro. Trump will head to Tucson, Arizona today. He last visited the state about two weeks ago, where he addressed immigration at the U.S.-Mexico border. So for more on the campaign, CBS News campaign reporter Hunter Woodall joins me now from Washington. Hunter, good to see you. Good morning. Let's talk about um, something here with this story out of Ohio and the allegation that some immigrants are eating pets. We know that um, Republican Ohio Governor Mike DeWine is pushing back on those claims that Trump made during the debate. We've seen some of it pop up on social media. Clearly, this isn't going anywhere. What is the latest? Well, good morning, Lindsay. And it's fascinating because, you know, my colleagues here at CBS have talked about and reported on this claim. They've called it, they've reported on it being a baseless claim, a false claim even. And we're 54 days out from Election Day, less than that uh, technically. And we're, this is what we're talking about. This is what Donald Trump chose to talk about during this debate. And that speaks to some of the impulses he's given into in this campaign cycle. You know, there, obviously, there's a lot of far right influences on his campaign. And so far, what we're seeing, especially elevating this claim that has so far been debunked, is this less, you know, of a reliance on that, you know, conservative pragmatism, more on the far right overtaking much of the Trump campaign's rhetoric. What are you hearing from Trump's allies about how he fared in the debate? Well, it's important to remember that, you know, the last presidential debate was June 27th, and that debate was so impactful that President Joe Biden eventually dropped out of the race, and obviously that's where we're at today. And in that debate, you saw former President Trump, you know, more restrained, technically. He very much let Joe Biden struggle through that debate. That's not what we saw on Tuesday night. We obviously saw former President Trump more on defense, more having to, you know, face Vice President Harris, really making her case against him, more so than really even talking about her own policy proposals, but making that contrast with him. And clearly, we're seeing former President Donald Trump on the defense now. And again, there's not that much time left before Election Day. Ballots, you know, start going out soon. We, you know, battleground states start voting soon. This is an interesting place for the former president to be, given how much momentum he had just weeks ago. And going into the debate, Harris really had the challenge of familiarizing herself, making sure that the electorate knows who she is, what she stands for. Does she accomplish that and what's left for her to do? And that's the crucial question. You know, when the vice president got into the race, there wasn't that much time left, right? She got in in, in late July as soon as uh, President Joe Biden, you know, dropped out of the race. So with that short window, she has to make, you know, her case to voters, reintroduce herself to voters. And when you look at the debate performance on Tuesday night, you know, I think her allies are saying, yes, she did that. She was able to make her case. She was able to make that contrast. But whether or not that will be enough to resonate with voters who want more in depth, want to know more about what she would do, that's a challenge. Because we're obviously seeing a very different uh, Vice President Harris than we saw when she was running, uh, you know, president back in 2019 when she was a senator. She's far more, trying to be far more moderate now, and that challenge is saying, hey, I was like this in 2019, I was more progressive then, here's what I am like now. Hunter, thank you so much.